In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily install these hydraulic disc brakes on your MX350 and MX400. These disc brakes are much better stopping power over the stock drum brakes. They're much safer. A link to all the products is above and also in the description. So without further ado, let's get started on the install. Please like and subscribe. First things first, release the brake. Eight millimeter here. 8 millimeter there. And a 15 millimeter wrench on this side. I had to set the bike down on the ground just to get the bolts broken. Want to do this on both sides. Drop this out. Now you got to take the chain and roll it off the back sprocket. There we have it. Let the chain hang down. This is the wheel now. I'm going to go ahead and remove this drum brake. You can see there's a bunch of washers on here. Then I'll remove this. And you can see the drum brake here. This is the disc for the drum. There's two methods to removing this drum brake and putting on the disc brakes. One, you can take a screwdriver and try to hit the end of this to spin the drum brake off the hub. The other option, which is easier, is to get some spare bolts anything you can find this is some some spare bolts that i have and then what i did was i'm just going to thread this nut on here like this you have to have a vise for this and it comes off super easy this method put this on like that and now i'm going to open this vise Put this in the vise like that. Let's tighten it down and then use the wheel and it will spin right off nice and easy like that. There you have it. This stays here, it came off super easy. Use the wheel for leverage to mount the new brake caliper you're going to simply slide the brake caliper over the axle and then turn it clockwise. You'll see it threads right on. Get down here like this. Then you may want to put screwdriver in here. Just give it a little tug so it's nice and snug. All right, we got that disc brake mounted. I got this brake caliper bracket. I'm going to mount on the back fork here. Then I'm going to be able to position the hydraulic brake caliper on here. Now this caliper is easy to install. I'm going to use the existing cable and that's cable actuated hydraulic brake. It's much improved over a stock mechanical brake. And I'm going to use this because it's easy to install. I can use the cable and I have the motor kill switch on the lever. So for a small child, they don't whiskey throttle it. And I'm going to mount this like that. And then this will sit down like that and grab the axle. What I want to do is put one of these bolts through like this. install the wheel I got the bracket mounted here loosely I want to take the chain and engage it on the sprocket I'm actually just gonna put it over the axle so I'm not fighting the spring tension I want to make sure that this bracket is engaged on the axle so it doesn't spin out got this brake bracket positioned 
Now I'm going to start tightening this down. You may need to drop it on the ground. Get that tightened up. Same thing with this side. Go ahead and install the chain by pulling the tensioner down. Getting the chain on the rear axle. Got the chain reinstalled. It's lined up pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this bolt down. Make sure that the bolt doesn't extend too far. You may have to cut the bolt so it doesn't hit, but it looks to be in good position like that. You also, depending on spacing, you may have to move the spacer from the outside to the inside to get this bracket spaced correctly. To install the caliper, simply pull the clip, slide it on to the rotor like that, and then take the bolts and line them up with the mount like this. Same thing with the bottom here. Get that aligned. Go ahead and tighten this down. Looks pretty good. I do need to tighten this down a little bit. All right, brake caliper is lined up pretty well, but what you want to do is loosen the bolts here on the top. This allows the brake to float in and out like this. And what you can do is I'm going to hook the wire up, get that situated, and then I'm going to actuate the lever like this. That will center the brake caliper on the rotor. We'll go ahead and try it right now. And then tighten down the bolts that allow the caliper to float. Release that. And now it rubs a little bit, but it's definitely, um, it free spins pretty well. Um, it'll wear in, but that brackets pretty well mounted i can go and adjust it again let's get this cable routed through here go ahead and pull off this cable stay on the end there we got that off now all of this stuff will slide right off And I'm going to route the brake cable up like this. I may need to zip tie the brake cable. But I'm going to slide the brake cable through here like this. And it's going to be seated in there. Then I take my 4 millimeter hex. And I'm going to attach the brake cable. to the claw of this attachment point on the back. Brake cable situated. I may zip tie the brake cable up like that so it keeps it up off the motor. But now if I reach up like this, you can see that it actuates the brake. So now, if I want to adjust this, what I'm going to do is reach up to the brake lever like this and adjust these bolts like, like, like I can. This will adjust the float. Get that tightened down. Tighten these bolts down. All right, there we have it. it. Spins pretty freely. Once I wear those pads in, it'll be great. And then last but not least, I'm going to put a little cable stay on the end here.
There we have it. Looks great. So let's try this. Turn the bike on. One benefit of having the stock brake, it has a motor kill switch sensor in the brake lever. So if you have the throttle going and you depress the brake, it automatically kills the motor and it doesn't allow you to whiskey throttle. That concludes the video on the install. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments. I hope that you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.